Uh, no problem. Well, uh, Craig, the, the record's um, done and dusted. I guess there must be a bit of relief that that's out of the road. Um, oh, I don't know about relief, you know. Um, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, like, it, it, we didn't put a whole heap of energy into it or, you know, or, or too much, much sort into it. We were aware of it. And to be quite honest, I'm really proud of this group for, you know, being able to win 19 in a row. Like, that's, that's you know, that's hard to do um, in any era, I'd imagine, but certainly, you know, the era that we're in now. Um, so, yeah, you know, like, I, I, you know, look on it as... I'm really proud of um, you know the playing group, what they've done. Um, you know, it hasn't been pretty at times without a doubt, but you know that's that's how footy footy goes. You know, there's um, there's ups and there's downs, just like you know anything else in life. So to be able to you know win 19 games, especially in the situation, the circumstances we're in. Um, as I said, I'm you know, really proud of this group. You haven't done it with a lot of your players either. I mean, I think only Smith and uh, Hines are playing all 19 from my calculations, but to have Ryan Pappenhausen back, which you didn't have for most of them, and playing like he did tonight, what, what can you tell us about how, how, how you felt about that? Because he looked like he's got his confidence back. Yeah, he was, he was, yeah. Again, I think he was probably better than not because he started and he played more time, you know, so, but that was always the plan, not to rush him. Um, Again, you know, he's we we knew it. Um, you know, we had to build his confidence. You know, probably you know, s slowly and, and, and surely. Um, we knew other teams would go after him. Um, so, just getting his, I suppose, his fitness and his involvement um, in the games w w was our main point. You know, over the last three three weeks. And uh, we always had this game picked out as the one that he'd start in, um, even though yeah you know, we didn't expect Jerome not to play. But you know that <laughs> that's how it worked out. Um, so yeah, I thought he, his involvements tonight were really good um, to step forward. He, you know, again we still see uh, uh, you know some improvement in him and some improvement with the combinations with you know the players we got in there at the moment. So um, yeah, but like I say, I was really happy with. Um, you know, how he played tonight, it was pretty tough for him in the first half. Like, we didn't play well in the first half and we were a bit all over the shop and so he sort of probably struggled there a little bit, but, um, you know, like, like the rest of us. But I just thought um, he made a lot of um, steps forwards tonight and hopefully in the next couple of weeks he'll, uh, he'll, he'll keep improving and, um, you know, be hopefully cherry ripe for September. It's a great headache. I mean, most coaches would, would, would be thrilled to have the headaches you've got. You've got Pappenhausen or Hines, you've got yeah. Hughes or, or sorry, sorry, Smith or um, or Harry Grant. I mean, tell us about how, well, how, I, how are you going to that going to well, unfold? I think what we've got, you know, we haven't got uh, Hines or Pappenhausen. We've got Hines and Pappenhausen, and I think with Grant and Smith, it's not all or either. It's and and uh, so all those guys are going to be in our seventeen. Um, and as you say, though, it's uh, yeah, I can't remember, you know, in in my time as as a coach, having you know the the luxury, I suppose, of having you know two players or two players, you know, in key positions that are uh, you know that, that do you know the job these blokes do for us, you know. So um, yeah, but like I say, it's a nice problem to have. Hey, did you challenge Munster at half time or something to, to really take Who's that? that? Munster, did you uh, challenge him at half time? He really sort of took that second half by the scruff of the neck. and Yeah, he did. And uh, I, I think he, he was probably a little bit disappointed in his first half. Um, but as you say, he took control. And, you know, the thing that sort of stood out to me is we scored that first try in the second half. And then when they got back and perhaps was taking the. The conversion. He was doing all the talking. Um, he doesn't do that too often. All the talking. You he, 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 he have a bit of a chat, but he was doing all of it. So I knew he was. You know, he had his head in the second half, and um, you know, I think we seen that. Uh, if he hadn't have come up with the second half that he come up with, I, I'm not quite sure we would have got the points. You need that from him going forward now, like in yeah, September. With, yeah, without doubt. And that, you know, at the end of the day, it's. Yeah, you know, I'm not. Uh, uh, yeah, as I said, I, 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 
in some ways, you know, we haven't had all our players there, but I think in some ways, you know, hopefully, you know, the way we've played the last three or four weeks, that you know, we are waiting for, for September. But, um, and I don't particularly like that, to be quite honest. I think, you know, if, like, if you go out there and play, you... But, you know, he, he's been through an origin series as, as well. And, um, you know, um, I think he had one week off, but other than that, he's, uh, he's played the... You know, all, all the games. So, you know, some guys you know, come out, out of origin reasonably quickly and some don't, you know, and Munster's always been a guy to probably takes him a little bit of time, you know, to get out of origin because, you know, it is. It flattens them physically and it flattens them mentally, you know. So, um, but as you say, his second half tonight, uh, that, that was very very encouraging and hopefully he can, you know, he can, he can turn that into 80, 80 minutes next week. About Harry Grant, he was just sensational tonight. Yeah, it was it was pretty hard for Harry to start with, to be quite honest. Um, you know, I think it was, you know, he, he had to adapt in a way that you know Brandon's, you know, in the last I think nearly all year Brandon started. I think Harry might have started in one or two games, but um, you know Brandon's probably taken the edge off the opposition a little bit when Harry's come on, so it's been a little bit easier tonight. You know, we didn't get you know too many opportunities around that play the ball for, for Harry to get out, you know, probably for the first 20 minutes, you know, and even probably a little bit longer. So he probably struggled with that a bit and actually starting the game and making, um, you know, more tackles because, you know, we we didn't control the ball well. So, uh, but I thought, you know, he, he's the last part of the first half and his second half was outstanding and, you know, he really, he really uh, caused him some problems there in the second half. So, um quite unfortunate for George Jennings it looks like it's apparently a, a recurrence of that PCL yeah it's, that, that's really disappointing you know for George but it's disappointing for us you know I'm not quite sure how many final series he's played in I think he's played in too many so um, but we'll, we'll just see how how bad it is but you know I think the last one he's missed four or five weeks so uh, that's not great for us either you know he, he does a you know good job of you know getting the the ball out of the, out of the back field for us, you know. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll just see how he pulls up tomorrow and then we'll go from there. But um, I'd have to say at the moment, it's, it, it's not looking great. Yeah.